Hello and welcome back to On Point Wargaming. Um, this video is going to be very similar to the videos I created recently where I built and painted the uh, German Hetzer kit from Warlord Games for Bolt Action. This time I'll be building the Panzer III kit for use in my Winter German uh, list set in Stalingrad. Um, this box contains um, one kit that can be built either, either as a J, L, M or N variant of the Panzer III. Um, I'll be building mine as a, as a J variant based in Stalingrad, which means no additional um, shirts and side skirts. Now I've not yet painted any bolt action German tanks in anything other than the late war uh, colour schemes, so this will be something new to me. Uh, I also plan to add a bit of a, a whitewash camouflage to the tank, or at least some snow based weathering. And again, this isn't something I've tried before, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, with that aside though, um, let's see what's in the box. Okay, as with most Warlord Games kits, we have information cards and the smoke and fire markers. Um, these are actually used quite a lot in our recent battle report, uh, with both my vehicles ending the game as burning and flaming wrecks. It really was a sight to behold. Um, onto the instructions. Um, now there just seems to be the one page and two sides of instructions. Uh, interesting. Um, careful attention is probably required here. Now, a quick look at the sprues um, tells me that the tracks are those four-piece tracks very similar to those on the Hetzer. And I did not enjoy building them in the slightest. Um, I think I'm going to have to have the green stuff at the ready uh, with this kit uh, in relation to the tracks. I could be lucky, they could go together well, but I've been burned in the past and I, I really don't like this style of, of, of track construction. Saying that, the wheels, um, they seem to be pretty much all one self-contained unit, which hopefully will make life a little bit more easier when putting these together. The rest of the kit seems to be pretty much self-explanatory, and just means uh, making sure I use the correct pieces for the J variant. So it doesn't look like anything too challenging or out of the ordinary, uh, he says <laughs> with bated breath and possibly misplaced confidence, but we'll see when I put the kit together. At the end of this video, <coughs> excuse me, as an additional smaller build, I'm going to show you the results of using Tabletop Wolf's video guide on how to make uh, an anti-aircraft gun using the bits and pieces left over from the Hetzer kit. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about this more later on in the video, and I'll pop a link to the video uh, below, so you can have a crack at this too, if, if you wish. Anywho, I'm going to start getting, getting busy putting this Panzer III together, and so I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye for now. Hello, and welcome back to this very short interlude uh, to discuss the tracks. Colour me very, very surprised, but they went together fantastically. Um, I mean, they're not 100% accurate or snug, but no green stuff required in the slightest. Um, I'm not quite sure what I did differently this time, but the the links matched up correctly. They all fitted together. Yeah, not one bit of green stuff is required on any of these tracks. Um, yeah, it's a bit a bit of a shock. I was expecting a good, a good two hour battle and lots of constructive industrial swearing, but none of that has come to pass. Um, and I'm really quite happy with the with the way they've turned out. They they look they look spot on, and went together the way they should have done in the instructions. Fantastic. Right, I'm off to to um, get on with the rest of the kit, and I'll I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye now. Hello and welcome back. Well, the kit is fully finished, and the Panzer 3J is complete. And I must say, it was an absolute pleasure to complete. And it's a really nice looking kit as well. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. There's a little bit of drilling for the extra bits and pieces to be to be added to it. Uh, but that didn't really detract from what was a really lovely build. Um, and given the awful draining humid weather here today, the last thing I wanted was another Hetzer episode. 
But all in, um, the Panzer III was put together in about 45 minutes, so not, not a long time consuming build by any stretch of the imagination. It was actually quite a simple kit to put together and like I said before, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. As with most of Warlord Games tank kits, the, this, was, this was comprised of, of two track sections, a lower hull, an upper hull and a turret with a main gun. And while the instructions could have been a little bit more succinct, with a bit of common sense it went together really easily and joining all the main parts together was completed with very little drama. Um, I would certainly recommend this kit to anyone uh, wanting to add some armour to their early and mid-war German lists. Uh, next up is to get this uh, painted up and added to my Stalingrad project and this will be covered in the next video pretty much like the Hetzer build well I'll do the build first and in the second video I'll paint the vehicle and talk, talk you through um, the colours and the, the weathering techniques I've used but that will be coming up on the next video. Now earlier I mentioned Tabletop Wolf's kit bash using spare parts from the Hetzer kit. Um, now he provided uh, an excellent tutorial that I've, I've linked in the description below and following the instructions uh, in his tutorial I completed this. Um, this is the, um, the anti-aircraft gun and here are a few pictures um, of the build in a bit more detail. Now I simply added three crew, again kit bash, this time using bits and pieces from the Falschemjäger, uh, Grenadier and US Marine Corps uh, kits and mounted it on a standard round base. Um, this was put together and painted in, in no time at all and, and for me it really shows the diversity and flexibility of the range of plastic kits available from Warlord Games. Uh, now I'm pretty chuffed with, with how it turned out and how it looks and although it got thoroughly battered in its first outing it's a really nice addition um, to my late war Falschenjäger um, and if you've got the spare parts from the from the Hetzer um, spare I would I would highly recommend putting it together it's a really simple conversion um, but really effective and it, it looks the part um, I say I'm really happy with the with the addition to my to my Falschenjäger well I hope you enjoyed the video um, um, in building the Panzer 3 as I said earlier, I'm now going to start painting this and this will be outlined in a bit more detail in the next video. But thanks for watching and as always, take care, may your dice roll well and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.